What's up? Kyle here again. Welcome to another DVD Blue Update video where we show the DVDs and Blu-rays I got over the past couple weeks and months and months and months and months and months and months and months. I'm so sorry I haven't done a DVD Blu-ray update for a long time. Um, I, I, to be honest, I, I know I exaggerate, but uh, I don't have that many. Uh, I thought I had a lot more Blu-rays and, and DVD update, DVDs in this, in this update, but I, I actually have uh, only a few uh, things to show in this update. But I'm sorry I haven't done one of these in a while. I haven't done one of these in a long time. It's been so crazy with the, corona, with the coronavirus and... Um, I just been I haven't been doing a lot of videos lately. All I've been doing is just live streams after live stream. I've been doing live stream videos, but it's sorry today. I was gonna do a live stream video today, but I figured you know maybe should change it up a little bit. You know I'm gonna try to do some more different different kind of you know videos. Like I'm gonna I'm gonna continue doing the live streams. Thank you guys so much for enjoying the live streams. For thank you so much for tuning in on the live streams. If you guys haven't checked out. Uh, my my last live stream that I did, did a few uh, last week last week uh, I'll put the link underneath this video for the last live stream that was the fourth one and I'm gonna be doing a fifth one next week and I'll be keep doing them I'm gonna keep trying to do them more and more and more even when the quarantine's over I'm gonna keep doing them even even when this whole mess is over with the world I'm still gonna keep doing them because a lot of people seem to like the the thing the 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 live streams that I'm doing because I'm getting a lot of views and stuff you know I gotta keep those views up you know and stuff you know a lot of people thank you guys so much for the views and for the likes and to, and, and thank you for, for the subscribe for the subscribes hit that subscribe button and thank you so much for all the support um but uh, I got I got some new t I got some DVDs in this update some new titles some old titles um yeah so, so I, it's just been very hard making videos lately I just been I'm gonna try to do some other DVD updates uh, since I since I have not much to do, you know, I'm gonna try to do some other. I've seen people do some other videos where it's like showing my other collections, like you know, like my favorite heart, my favorite horror movies, best uh, best comedy movies, best horror movies of all time, top three or top five or top ten of horror movies or comedy or sci-fi or whatever or um, top five, you know, uh, any, you know, like you know, let's say a best. Uh, I, I want to do like the I want to do a video like you know the most rarest horror movies I, I you could find like you know best you know out of print movies like best out, best out of print horror films you could find like you know most valuable horror films like like you know like the most valuable out of print horror films or like you know ones that you can't find anywhere or anything or, or something like that you know I'll fi I'll figure it out but um I, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do some like different type of videos different type of DVD update videos like you know different type of like, like you know, movie movie videos, collection videos, and stuff like that. But without further ado, um, let's get this this DVD update started. Got a few things to show in this update, so let's get it started. Um, for, let's see what I got. First one I got is um is a comedy film um, is with um Adam Sandler, and that is so I I can't believe I've never seen this yet, but. I, I just saw it just recently, and that you know, and that is uh, Adam Sandler's Blended. This is a really, really funny film. I with um, Blended with Adam Sandler and Drew Barrymore, which they've done a lot of movies together. I really see I, I see a lot of movies with them, and and um, um, this is pretty much about um, he um, I can't really too remember too much into this movie with whatever what this movie's about. Uh, it's just a really funny movie about like him. Like a single guy and a single parent, like two single parents, um, trying to trying to make a living, and then like they like two people hate each other. Two like uh, a date went like uh, these two people that went went on a date, and um, they it went wrong, and then they meet up like at at, at um. And then they meet up again a few times, and then like they find out that they're going to like you know uh, I think it was like um, Hawaii together, and they meet up with their them and their kids, and they start getting along, and they start reconnect, they start connect, they start like you know falling in love and stuff, and it's like just really funny Adam Sandler humor. It's just really great. I really enjoy this one. If you haven't seen this one yet, um, it's it's like about it's it, it, it teaches like you know how much like you know you you much yeah you have in person so much in common with a person like if you really hate them or like that's about like they really hate each other 
but then they find out find out they really they truly love each other in the end. But um, but it's really funny. I definitely check this out. Really check this out. Really good movie. The next one I got is another Adam Sandler movie, and I saw I saw this a few times. I got that for like five ninety nine. That movie, by the way, I uh, blended. I got this for three ninety nine actually, or I think I got that for three ninety nine blend five ninety nine blended, and this for three ninety nine. I got the Wedding Singer, the totally awesome edition. Another Adam Sandler Drew Barrymore classic, and this is just a great movie. I'm not I you know about. I can't really remember too much about it. I have to rewatch it, but uh, I just really love this movie a lot from when I when I was a kid. This is a wonderful one of the greatest 90s movies I've ever seen. One of the greatest Adam Sandler comedies uh, comedies I've ever seen and romantic movies I've ever seen. And I love watching this. I love watching this with Lisa a lot of the time too. This is me and one of my, one of me and Lisa's favorite movies. I just love this movie. It's definitely worth checking out. You guys just all seen this though. It's a classic. Next one I got here is I'm just gonna show this. I uh, I love I love the I love the first one too, and I and I actually like this one better than the the first one. The first one was really good too, but this one was really good. But this is a uh, Charlie's Angels Full Throttle Unrated. This is the Unrated Edition. I just wanted to get this. I got this at uh, Fye when it was closing down, um, in, pa in the pa in the Paramus in the Paramus Mall. Um, Yes, this is this is just like an extra unrated edition. You know, me and me and Lisa love this movie. This is a great movie. I love the Charlie's Angels movies. I didn't. The new one was is was okay. The the new one with um, Chris Kristen, um, what was her name? Kristen Stewart. That one we reviewed. I think a lot. We reviewed. I, I don't remember too much about it. I can put the link underneath this video if you want to check out the review. But um. That one was pretty decent, you know. It was it was pretty good, you know. It wasn't the best. I liked it. A lot of people didn't like it, but you know, it wasn't my favorite. It wasn't as good as the first two. These ones are the best ones, um, especially this one. This is my favorite one of all. T my favorite of the series, and I love the original show too. That that was pretty good. But uh, definitely check definitely check this out if you're definitely get this edition if you're a fan of the Charlie's Angels series. The the ones with Cameron Diaz, Drew Barrymore, and Lucy Liu. Definitely check this out. Next DVD I got is um, a comedy film from the nine from 1990, 90 or 91, with um, uh, Christina Applegate. This is just one of my favorite movies. This is just one of my favorite uh, classic movies. One of my favorite uh, comedy movies of all time. It's it's a classic, and that is Don't Tell Mom the Babysitter's Dead. This is just a great movie, a great kid, uh, kid family comedy. I just love this movie about this um, about about um. Their, I can't really remember too much about this, but this was just really, 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 really funny, and um, I love the part when when um, um, what's his name? Um, I forget the the, the guy's name. Um, forget his name. Um, the actor's name. Keith Coogan, um, he says, "This is a done man." I love that, and they say that in Jane Silent Bob, Jane Silent Bob reboot. Like he goes, like you know, he takes. I like the scene where where uh, Christina Applegate. He takes. He says, "Can you do the dishes?" And then he's like, and "He's like, oh, I'll do the dishes." And he throws the dishes. He throws the dishes with like clay pigeons with his friends, and they're playing around on the roof and they're shooting them. And then he just goes, "The dishes are done, man!" Like, ah, and they bump their heads together. It's just really funny. A lot of really funny quotes in this. That's like one of my favorite quotes in like any move in any movie or anything. Um, but it's a really funny movie about the babysitter. Going like the like this old like these kids have this I forget why why the parents had to go out but um the, the she leaves the, the the this babysitter in charge and then she is like a mean rotten lady like an old bat like an old mean old lady um, and then she like dies somehow um, she gets like she like they find her like she's like she's like she's like dead in a chair 
Uh, it's not gory or anything. It's because it's for kids. But um, she, they find her like she's dead, and then they they dump her body. And they say, "What do we do?" And then the sister has to be the babysitter, and she has to get a job and stuff. And they have to like kiss the parents are going away for the weekend, and then. It's just like all this craziness that goes on. It's just a really fun movie. I really enjoyed this. The sister becomes the adult and the kid takes care of the kids and everything. It's just an amazing, amazing movie. I really enjoy it. It's a really fun movie. I, I definitely will check, definitely check this out if you haven't seen this yet. Oh, you all have seen this. this is a, if, you, if you guys haven't seen this yet, this is a classic. I, I definitely check this out. Next one I got is a low budget independent movie that is uh, d directed by. Um, Dark Dark Infinity. It's it's Dustin Ferguson, uh, and and it's put out by a, a company called C S C S Entertainment, and it has my good. I got this because it has my good buddy Sean C Phillips in it, and that is a. Uh, and I'll put the link underneath this video where you can get the movie. And that is uh, the movie, the the movie Tales from the Campfire Three. There's a there's two two others after, before this. And this is a really cool anthology film. I love the cover for this. This is a really cool anthology film, kind of like a um about these about these um kids that are go that are going going or telling stories around a camp around a campfire at like a low, de deserted um. Deserted ca camp, like 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 this, like you know, this, like this, this, like around a campfire, you know, and they're telling short stories, and like it's about every short story. These are like these short stories, and um, a lot of them are filmed actually. Uh, fi a lot of locations are filmed in um, seen are seen in some movies like Child's Play th Two, Halloween Three, House, and Nightmare on Elm Street, th Dream Warriors, and from the, from the crypt. Tales from the Crypt Demon Knight, where some of the locations were, were actually some where some of the tales take take place, and uh, it's about like they they go on, they they're sitting around a campfire and Sean plays one of the the campfire gang. Uh, uh, t uh, he tells one of the stories in the movie. Uh, it's just really fun. I love the shorts in this movie and I love the cast. Um, it's very very it's very cool. And it's also kind of reminds me, gives me like a like a Are You Afraid of the Dark kind of like uh, vibe, kind of like you know uh, Are You Afraid of the Dark mixed, you know, kind of like a Are You Afraid of the Dark like you know, but like an adult Are You Afraid of the Dark like a uh, horror, more horror, violent Are You Afraid of the Dark kind of kind of feel to it. It's really fun, really cheesy. Definitely check it out. I definitely worth definitely check this movie out. Uh, this is a really fun movie. Definitely check this out. I'll put the link where you, underneath this video where you can get this movie. Um, it's a really cool movie. Uh, has some cool features on it. Introduction by D director Dark D Infinity. Original trailer, behind the scenes photos, making of and the making of Campfire again. The Campfire again with the Campfire Gang. Um, it's just really fun. Definitely check this out if you haven't seen it yet. And really cool movie. Next one I got is I reviewed the first one, and this is the second one, and I and I just love these movies so much. I didn't like the second one as much, but I do like the I do like it. Um, but this is the second one, second uh, Gremlins two, the Gremlins two, the new batch, and I just love this move. I love the, these movies. They're so cool, very cool effects in these movies. Um, this one's PG-13. The difference between the first one and, and this one is, is PG, this one's PG-13, and the first one's PG. I thought the first one was PG-13 when I when I, when I saw it, but you know, this one's more of a comedy um, a co comedy. They're both comedy horror movies, but this one has is more of a comedy. This has more comedy elements to it. Um, I just love love these movies so much. I definitely would check these out. Um, uh, yeah, the creature designs are very cool in these. Like the way the the way the, the gremlins are so the the gray the gremlins are are great are designed and these are so cool. Um, I just love these movies so much. Really cool. I can't remember too much about this one, but um, it's really fun. And I think this one's a little bit more violent than the first. Um, Giz and just Gizmo is so adorable. I want to keep take him home and keep him as a pet. He's so adorable. He's a he's such a cutie. I love Gizmo and, and he's he's so adorable. Um, I want to keep him as a pet. He's such a cutie. Um, <laughs> but uh, I think there's a plushie of him. I want to. I really want to get that that plushie of Gizmo. But anyways, um, Gremlins one and two, uh, Gremlins two re really. 
I really enjoyed it. Uh, not as much as the first, but I, and, and it's a little. It's very. It's very different. Um, my original, some of the original cast comes back, and um, I love the cover to this. But uh, definitely check this out if you love the first one. You'll definitely love this one. Definitely check this out if you haven't seen this yet. And I got this for a good price actually. I get this for five ninety nine at uh, Barnes and Noble when it was uh, open, you know, before the the whole virus thing. But um, definitely check this out if you haven't seen it yet. Next one I got, and I had this for a long time, and I never got a chance to watch it. I just watched it recently, and this is like the weirdest thing I've ever seen in my life. This is like the silliest, silliest movie I've ever seen, and uh, I just love Beavis and Butthead, and that is Beavis and Butthead Do America, and this is the Beavis and Butthead movie, and this is the silliest movie I've ever seen in my entire life. This is like the weirdest, stupidest, weirdest movie I've ever seen in my entire life, but I just love it. Like, it's like one of those bad one of those bad bad movies that you just love like you know what like, you know like uh so bad it's so good it's so good it's bad kind of movie so bad it's it's good movies it's just really funny like everything they do in this movie is just like so dumb and like you know i just love it but it's really funny humor and if you get the i i, I never really watched people about it too often but i did watch it a few times but i i i just um, and that really got into it, but I I just love the the show. Some of the sh the show was pretty funny, but I just love this movie. It's really 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 funny. I de I definitely check this out. I'm a, a hardcore Beavis and Butthead fan. Um, this is just really funny movie. And it's like the South Park kind of kind of like humor, but it's just like a little more tamed. I think this one's only P. This is actually only PG thirteen. This should be rated R. The rating systems were different back then, but. I definitely check this out if you're a Beavis and Butthead fan and you like silly slapstick uh, buddy comedies. Definitely check this out. And uh, last DVD I got is, well, last, uh, so, sort of last DVD. Uh, last DVD I got, and I had this in my collection for a long time, that's the John Travolta movie, uh, Saturday Night Live. Uh, not Sa Saturday Night Fever, not Saturday Night Live. Saturday Night Fever. With John Travolta, and I watched. I just watched this recently, and with Lisa, and this was really, really good movie. Really cool. This is a really good drama movie. I love this movie. My dad loves this. My this is my dad. This is my dad's movie, and I and I just, I just, I really love this movie. I love this movie. And I actually, look, he John Travolta looks like my dad in this picture. Actually, kind of like that. Um, this is just a really fun, he like, you know, he, we always made a joke, me and my parents kind of like, did like a, like a little like, you know, a thing for his like 60th, 60th, uh, I think it was his 50th, um, birthday, we did something like where we put his head in like in this, in this picture, and like we made like a little disco kind of thing, and um, cause he looks like kind of like John Travolta in this picture, my dad. And this was just a this was just a great movie. I love the music and it's all BG. If you like BG, B, the B, the art. If you like Arthur and the Bee Gees, like if you like uh, if you like Bee Gees music, definitely uh, you'll love this. Um, this is just a fun movie. I love it. Great, great '80s, a uh, great '60s comedy movie. Definitely check this out if you haven't seen this yet. You all have seen this. This is one of the cl 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 most classic movies I've ever seen him ever made. One of the best movies ever made. Definitely check this out. And I want to, uh, to now. I want to show this. You know, this is a DVD. This is this is going to be weird today. Uh, a little different, but uh, this is. I wanted to show this. This is a a, a DVD of a uh, This is a uh, Candyman three. I got uh, Candyman. I got Candyman. Um. This is the sec. This is the Blu-ray of set the second Candyman. Candyman Pharaoh to the Flesh. And uh, can and I got the third one, Candyman Day of the Dead, on a uh, DVD. I wanted to talk more about these, but I'm just gonna show these for right now. But uh, th these are I really love these movies. If you're a big fan of the Candyman movies, this one's really, really, really good. And this one was really, really good. I can't remember too much about them. I really, I mean, I just really like them. I, I, I can't go into detail about them, but I just really love these movies so much. It's, it's a very hard uh, story to tell. Like you know, really hard. Uh, 
uh, plot to tell about 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 them, but it's just really cool. It's about the Candyman returning from a, uh, you know, and, and getting like you know his revenge, his uh, about the Candyman returning and like yeah, he just returns in these movies and like he um it's. I can't really too, I can't really explain too much about these, but uh, if you're a fan of the Candyman, of the first Candyman, these are much different than the, than the than the first. These are a lot gorier and a lot and a lot more intense, I think, in, than the first. Oh, I don't know. I think the first one's my favorite, of course, but these ones are really good movies, uh, really good Candyman movies. And this one's from Shaw Factory, and I just love this. This scared the hell out of me. This great effects. Great, these had great effects, great everything in these movies, and the candy, and Tony Todd is, looks amazing in these movies. I can't really remember too much about them, but I just really like these movies a lot. Really cool, and um, definitely check these out if you haven't seen it. I know there's a German release of this somewhere, like a German, like, b b uh, media, uh, like, book, like, uh, a media steel book edition of this, which I want to get my hands on one day. Like, like, uh, like, uh, uh, like a steelbook edition of this some like in you know, like a Blu-ray steelbook edition of, like a really rare edition of this some somewhere I want to get one day. I'm um, surprised this didn't come out to Blu-ray yet, but um, the gore effects and everything and the Candyman, the way he d designed and everything, all the effects and everything just looks so creepy. And the storyline and just how these were made were so great. And um, but I'm a fan of the I love all the Candyman movies. But they, that, if you haven't seen these mo ones yet. Definitely check these out and definitely check out the first Candyman and I'm really excited for the new one too. That's why I wanted to get these because I was I was looking at you know because I love the first one and the new one was coming out and I wanted to see that. that I don't think that's coming to theaters now but um, it's probably going to come to streaming but I'm going to do a review on that no matter what with I'm going to do a review on that no matter what. That's going to be really cool but uh, definitely check those those can those movies out. Next one I got is um. Star Wars: The Rise of Skywalker, the last Star Wars, the last Star Wars episode in the Star Wars franchise, and then I heard that they're going to be making more Star Star Wars episodes, Star Wars movies, and um, but this is the final one of the Skywalker franchise, and um, I actually thought this was better than the, this is the best one of the uh, the better of the two of the of the of the Skywalker of the the better of the new the better of the two of. Uh, the the new Skywalker franchise, like of the of the new ones that just released, like it's better than uh, Force Awakens, and better than Last of Je the Last Jedi. I thought this was the best one of the of the of the three, um, but not as good as the originals, of course. I prefer like uh, my favorite episode, of course, is going to be always Return of the Jedi, and I love the first Star Wars, and I love uh, Empire Strikes Back, and the and the prequels are really good too. But I'm going to show like what inside the cover. Um, and they're making more, actually, of the Star Wars franchise after this, you know, but without without Skywalker, like you know, the like the like the, the, like, the, the an, like another another like series they're making now. I don't know why they, they, they should just stop right now, and I don't know why they're going to continue the series, you know. But they're I don't think it's it's not going to be about Skywalker anymore. It's like a whole new like series they're doing now of Star Wars. But here's the there's like the slip cover like that. Here I'll show you. I'll show you how. To, I'll show you. Here's the slip. Here's the slip cover. And here's the 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 cover here. You you get two you get two discs. I had this laying in my collection. I know this is very old. Get the the you get the Blu-ray, and then you get the bonus the bonus disc on here, which has a lot of cool bonus features on here actually. Which um, this is one. I'm not a big fan of J.J. Abrams, but I do like I do like the, happen to like this one a lot. I'm not a big fan of his movies usually, but he did a great job with this one. I really think he did a great job, and I did like Cloverfield a lot. Uh, Cloverfield was one of his best, I think. You know, and this one was really good. Um, and there's the back. This cover alone just really is cool, and I want to get. A, I want to get. This would look cool on 4K, um, but I just really love the Star Wars series. You guys have all. Don't you guys all know the Star Wars series? You know I don't need to get into this, but um, this is. It's sad to see this be the end, and all. But um, yeah, they like I said, they're making more Star Wars series now without the sky without the Skywalker storyline. Um, but um, highly recommend you check this out. 
you're a Star Wars fan, you haven't seen the, Star, the last Star Wars movie yet, must see. Definitely check this out. Next one I got is on um, Blu-ray, and that is um, the, the new Jumanji movie, The Next Level, with Dwayne, the Rock, with Dwayne, Dwayne Johnson, Jack Black, Kevin Hart, and Karen Gilligan. And um, this is just really funny, a really funny movie. Um, this is the this is the sequel to uh, Welcome to the Jungle. This is really cool how it comes like this. And uh, you, you get like the the Blu-ray, and then you get a DVD DVD uh, DVD combo pack right there, and some other pamphlets there. This one was really funny. I'm a big fan of the Jumanji series, and there was one, there was a couple surprises that in this movie that I didn't expect from that I for, that I forgot I didn't I, I didn't realize when I when I because we were me and Lisa went to see this went, went to see this in the theater, and then I went to see it again, and then I and then my mom pointed out like some some stuff about it, like you know I I didn't there's some stuff that I didn't even realize that was I I didn't realize in the movie that was like I'm like wait. Sh Oh, like you know that like that was like there's some stuff from the original that was in, that was in this one that like someone returns from the original from the first movie some returns in this movie in this you know from the first movie actually some uh, character comes back I'm not gonna say who but there's a there's someone from that that from the original Jumanji the one with Robin Williams rest in peace Robin Williams um, but uh, they make a she comes back in this at the very end and she makes a little cameo. Um, and I didn't, I didn't even know that was her at the end of the movie, but, um, it's really, it's a really cool movie, it, definitely check it out, um, if you're a fan of the, fan of the Jumanji series, it's definitely worth checking out, Welcome to the Jungle was really good too, this one was really good, this one's even, this one's just as good, and this one's pretty much the, um, like, it has Danny DeVito in it, and they take, the, they, they, uh, it's about like you know like after years later after Welcome to the Jungle and and Spencer goes back in the game and um, his friends are looking looking for him and they go back in the game and and then it winds up that his grandfather and his uh, friend you know uh, I forget what his friend's name the one that plays um, Danny Glover forget the friend's name in the movie and they go back and they switch characters again and it's like the whole thing is happening all over again it's just really funny and Danny DeVito plays uh, D D D D uh, Dwayne Johnson uh, the uh, I forget uh, what's uh, I forget the, the, the guy's name but he plays Jack Black and like, ever, like the character switched from last time and then, like, you know, it's just, like, really funny how they do the voices and everything. Like, you know, who's Jumanji? Like, you know, how Danny DeVito and J D Drake, how Danny, like, uh, Dwayne Johnson play, uh, plays, like, an old man. And it's, like, Dwayne Johnson's, like, Dwayne Johnson's, like, who's Jumanji? It was just really funny. I really, like, you know, how he's, they say, who, like, they say, like, the game in Jumanji. And then he's, like, because he, because he can't hear. So he goes, who's Jumanji? It was just really funny. I, I really enjoyed this movie. Some of the lines in this were just really catchy. I, I really enjoyed this movie definitely check this out if you haven't seen it and if you love the original first two um definitely check those out as well if you haven't to see those before the, you see this one but I, I i don't think you need to see them in order to see like the, you know i think it just doesn't it's like not it's like one of those movies but yet you know but um just check them out all of them all three of them they're all great first one is very different from the first from the second and third though but uh definitely check this, this out if you haven't seen if you're a jumanji fan Next one I got is from a Criterion Collection, and I'm going to show this. This is um, this is a really cool movie. I saw the. This is a really cool gory movie. I can't explain too much about what this is about. This is, has James Woods in it, and that is a Videodrome on Blu-ray from Criterion. And this is it comes in like this. Comes go the covers like this. Like this. And then you get the tape, like here, it looks like a VHS tape. I love the nostalgic feel to this movie. And then you get this. And then, and then it's like Videodrome right here. Come on, I'll show you. 
like a tape, like how it's like a tape. You put it like in a, a VHS tape. <clears throat> the disc is like this. Disc and, and a pamphlet. I'll show you some of the stuff in the pamphlet and in this. But this is this is a really cool movie. I don't know if you can see any gore in here. Let's see if we can find any cool pictures. Some like pictures in here. Oh, this from the film. But uh, anyways, <laughs> uh, enough of that. I wanted to talk about the film a little bit. Um, This film, this film is, it's hard to explain what this one's about. It's about this, it's about, um, uh, um, like this guy is like a, a cop and, it, and he sees like this, he keeps getting these snuff films in, in the mail or something, or like in like the, in like this video drop box. Cause it's like, this is from the eighties and, and James, James Woods is like getting like, and people are like getting sucked into the, like getting drawn into these films and they think they're real and they're, they're fake. But um, people are like dying in these films, and like these actors are like they think they're acting, and like but they're but they're like um, they're real people, like people dying in the films, and it's like people are um, and it's like this guy is like this like video drama is like like controlling your mind and everything, just really crazy stuff. It's very hard to explain, and um, like and then J James Woods starts getting like you know like sucked into the film and then I uh, starts getting like you know drawn into the film and then his like arm starts like gushing up blood and like he like starts becoming like it just like weird things like start happening with the mo with these tapes and stuff it's but a really fun movie definitely check this out if you haven't get if you haven't seen this yet and uh, Rick Baker did the really did really cool effects in this movie I love Rick Baker's effects this is a really fun cool cheesy uh, over the top gory horror film I really highly recommend you check this one out it's a really fun movie um, James Woods did a great job everyone did a great job and that's Video Drone directed by and it's directed by David Cronenberg. Um, I love David Cronenberg's work. Um, I like the, the Brood and um, also some other work he's done. The, the Fly. Um, he's done some other movies. I, f I forget. He's done a lot of good movies. Um, I love his work. Definitely check this movie out if you haven't seen it. And and don't forget this edition. This is one. This is a really cool edition. The v VHS edition. The, the 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 Criterion Collection. Criterion puts out a lot of cool things uh, nowadays. Um, has a lot of cool features on it. Um, I'm not gonna read all the features, but there's a lot of cool features on it. But uh, definitely check this out if you haven't get, when you get a chance. But uh, definitely worth checking. Definitely worth checking out. And uh, definitely check this one. De but definitely check this. Get this edition and definitely check this one out when you get guys get a chance. De great movie. Next one I got is on Blu-ray, and that is Axe Grinder 2, and this is a really cool, really cool uh, looking edition. I love the the cover to this, and um, I'll put a link underneath this video where you can get the the, the Blu-ray. There's actually um, uh, they're actually selling um two uh, the the first this is the this is the second one. Um, the first one I like a little more, but uh, this is a really cool movie. Um, this has my buddy. This is a uh, this has my buddy Sean C. Phillips in it. A cool dude, or he, he plays a little, uh, plays a little part in it. He has a real fun, fun part in this movie. This is a really cool movie directed by uh, Dustin Ferguson and uh, produced by by uh, David Sterling. And I believe you can get it on their on a. Uh, on their site on uh, Kanaki, on, uh, you can get it on Kanaki, and I'll uh, put the link on the video where you can get it on Kanaki. Um, it's really cool, and actually they're selling a box set of like two of the of the two uh, the uh, the the two uh, grind X Grinder movies, uh, X Grinder One and X Grinder Two, in a box set. I would show it to you, but I don't have it. I don't have it, but um. 
You, you get a box. It's a box set of the boat movies, kind of like the Camp Blood one. I, t I told you, I, I mentioned where you get all the Camp Blood movie movies in one, and um, you get the, you get this one and the second one, and then you get like a little like memory card of like the 4K edition of this one in 4K on uh in um in in the in 4K like a little like you know of, of the cl of the clown like in of this in, in there of like the of the clown there, but um, if you haven't got the Camp Blood collection yet, the Camp Blood box set 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 yet, and I'm also in Camp Blood Seven, and I'm in Camp Blood um, go, I'm Ghost I'm in Camp Blood Seven, Ghost of Camp Blood, and K Camp Blood Kills. I'll put a link for those where you can get those, and I'll put a link for this for this uh, box set and a link for this movie. Um, this is a and and for the first I can and the first movie was really good. I love the first one as well. I had the first one somewhere on a I have the first one somewhere on DVD. Um, this one's really fun. Really enjoyed this one. Um, it's not the it's not the greatest thing I've seen, but I did enjoy it a lot. Um, but uh, it's really it's a really cool movie. And also, my f a friend of mine is another friend of mine is in this uh, Mike Ferguson, who's going to be in uh, Bloody Nun Two, a movie that an upcoming horror film that I'm going to be in. That that I'm that I'm gonna that I'm in, that I'm gonna be in co coming soon from my from my from my buddy Will Colazzo and that that's coming soon to, to coming soon too and um and a few other movies coming out as well um this is really cool definitely check this out and this is like uh, uh about these kids that are going away they're going on a spring break uh I think it was a summer vacation or a spring break vacation and um it's like you know the the there's like the kill like this this killer is out there and and like chopping bits and chopping the the kids to bits and pieces and it's like it takes place right after the first one and Sean plays this kind of like this cool like this guy this guy with this movie dojo and it was just really fun to see him in this and I really love his work I really love Sean to see Sean in a movie and stuff and I worked with him in a movie actually that's coming up soon I'll, I'll talk about that when that's I worked with him I, I'm working with him with him in a couple movies um, I worked I'm actually did a movie with him called Faces of the Dead I did a little segment with him which is a Will Colossal movie which is coming out soon um, and about I'll let you all know when that comes out uh, we did a segment together me and Sean uh, which is going to come soon and I have a few other things coming out soon but uh Definitely check this movie out. This is really fun slasher movie. If you love slasher, go over the top. Like if you like if you like cheesy slasher movies, definitely check this one out. If you haven't seen this yet, next one I got is Bad Boys. Bad Boys. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Bad Boys for Life on Blu-ray. And this is just a film. I love this one. This is this is I got this on Blu-ray. And I just love this movie so much with Will Smith and Martin Lawrence. I've always loved the first two Bad Boys, and I've been always saying, when are they going to make another Bad Boys movie? When are they going to make another Bad Boys movie? They finally made another one, and I think they're making a fourth one now, too. When I, oh, well, not now. Right, not when the coronavirus is happening, of course. But uh, they're going to be making a fourth one, and a fifth one, I think. Because uh, the leading, uh, if you watch the ending of this, you'll see like, it leads on to a fourth one. And, um... It, this one was just really funny. I love action. It was very action packed, um, but it, it's something that was a little different than the than it was a little different than the first two. But it was just really funny. Um, I wouldn't say it's my favorite of the series. I'm probably it, it's one of my favorites, but it's not my favorite one. I can't. It's hard to say what my favorite one of these of the three is, but um, it's a little different, a little darker than the first two. Um, because there's like a little twist, like like a little kind of like Star Wars, like kind of like kind of like how like you know I'm your father or like twist kind of like thing in that um, between one of the bad guys. Um, I just don't want to give anything away too much, you know. But it's just really fun, and I really enjoyed it. And it's an really I love Will Smith. I love Martin Lawrence. He's doing a lot of movies lately. Um, this is just really fun movie. If you haven't seen this yet, I was laughing. I was cracking up so much in the theater. But there's also a sad, sad moments in this movie too as well. There's also a sad part. I don't want the sad moments in this movie as well. I don't want to give it away, but. Um, Definitely check this out if you haven't seen it. Definitely, definitely love it. I, I definitely love this movie. Definitely check this out if you haven't seen it. 
And last but not least I got on Blu-ray is a, a really cool horror film. It's kind of like a, an indie, a low budget kind of horror film. It's really, really, really good though. I really enjoyed this one a lot. And that is um, by, it's by, it's, it's the company's MPI. It's, pre, it's put, put out by MPI and that is um, Night of the Living Dead on Blu-ray and I just love love this movie so much and this this has um uh it's it's directed by Kyle Raken and um it has it has Maria Thayer and Michael Cassidy and and Ray Weiss and um and one of the guys and Maria, Maria Thayer was she was in um I like her in a lot of movies she was she plays Deb she was in, she was in accepted she plays. She was an accept. She was an accepted as uh, one one of the, like the, the redhead girl, and and accepted. You know, not the, not not Blake Lively, like the nerdy kind of girl, and and accepted. Um, she plays Deb. This De uh, Deborah. Um, this was just a really fun apocalypse movie, a zombie apocalypse co comedy horror movie. Just really cool and cheesy and funny. I really enjoyed this one, and also it, it's also and also. Um, a really cool thing about this one is that my buddy Sean C. Phillips has a cameo in this at, as well, and at the like near the end of the movie, and I thought that was really fun, like on the TV news segments, and um, he, like he's, he's he was like talking about the zombie outbreak on the news. That was really cool. I thought that was really cool, and and uh, I thought that was really cool that he had that that he had that that he was in this, and he did a great job. Everyone did a great job in this movie. This is a and and I know Ray Weiss. Um, I know Michael Cassidy, I know Murray Thayer, I know everyone in this movie, I just love everybody in this movie, it's just a funny, great comedy, and one of the guys, this guy, from, uh, Girl Next Door is in it, I forget what his name is, this guy right here, I can't, can't print, I can't, I can't, can't remember his name, he's from Girl Next Door, and he's from Fanboys, he's, he, he was really funny in it, um, I think it's Michael, uh, I forget what his name, I forget what his name is, I might have said it already, but, um, um, I just really love this movie. If you can find it somewhere, uh, I definitely re recommend you check it out. I think it's on Amazon Prime right now. You can watch it. But it's really fun, cool, zombie. Uh, not really what well-known, talk, not really talked about much movie, but I really enjoyed this one. Definitely check this out if you haven't seen this one yet. Um, I also talked about it in one of my uh, videos with Lisa, the Around the Town video that, uh, you know, when we, me and Lisa were hanging out, we were talking about it in an Around the Town video. Um, when we were doing, when we were in the quarantine video, we, we reviewed this movie. Um, if you haven't seen that video, yeah, I'll put in, like, I think this video for that video, but, uh, definitely check this out if you haven't seen it. Must see, must see cool, uh, zombie movie, De zombie comedy, horror movie. Definitely check this out if you haven't seen it. Well, those are all the DVDs and Blu-rays I got for this DVD update video. Thanks a lot for watching and for subscribing. Definitely give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy, enjoy these videos. Hit that like button. Please rate, subscribe. And, uh, thanks a lot for watching and for subscribing. And I'm, I'm going to try to do more videos soon. I, like I said, I'm, it's been very hard during the quarantine, during the virus and the quarantine. Um, I'm going to be doing lots of more videos that are coming soon, like more collection videos, more movie videos. I'm going to be doing more live streams. I'm sorry I didn't do one tonight, but um, I'm going to do one next week and uh, more coming up. More live streams coming up, and more other thing, more other videos coming up in, in in the works, and more projects coming up in the works. Movies, you know, I'm gonna try. I'm supposed to be doing some other movie projects coming up in the works, coming soon, but uh, I haven't been able to because you know, you know, we've been quarantined and you know, stuck in the house all day, and then you know, just been crazy, and, you know. And I've been going out and getting food. It hasn't going to the supermarket. Going out has not been easy lately. You know, just going out getting food in the stores has not been easy yet to wear the masks and everything it's crazy but uh, anyway though guys hope you enjoyed this video thanks a lot for watching and subscribing hit that like button please rate subscribe and i'll see y'all later all right peace and stay out and stay safe and stay healthy hope you all enjoy the video peace